it means a lot to me because, uh, you know, me being from the South, and I never thought I'd be where I am today, you know, in the Marshall Service. And uh, uh, it was, uh, I guess, when I was growing up, you know, I was kind of young, I was on a thin line because we never had anything on the farm, you know. We had a lot to eat because we raised up stuff and picked a lot of cotton. We were sort of a share crop, you know. We didn't own the place. We just farmed on it. And, and getting the Marshall Service, it was like an outlet for me to get away, you know. And I said before, uh, I always thought that was TV stuff because I never heard of a real life marshal. And I watched that show and I said, man, that's what I like to be a marshal. It means a lot because uh, it did a lot for me and my family. And uh, I got a lot of recognition out of it. Like I said, I never thought I'd become a director of the marshal service. That was something I never thought I'd become a director. And that, it's the first time in the history that a deputy became a director of the marshal service because it's a political job. Mm -hmm. I worked way up to the top. So I'm very proud to be there to be in the marshal service because, you know, I had my ups and downs and a lot of roadblocks trying to you know, stop me from getting promoted by being married to her, Judy. That had a lot to do with it too, because you know, that's a, you don't do that. You don't cross the line, you marry out of your own race and, and you know, but I finally made it anyway. But uh, I met a lot of good people in Marshall Service. A lot of bad people too, but a lot of good people. So I'm very proud to be part of the history of Marshall Service. And I feel like that I am part of history from things that we've done from, you know, where we came from.